day four of the Maudie's Open Temple Championships. This is a last 32 match between Carlo Biardo and Johan Shaw. And what a match it promises to be. Looking forward to this since I saw the fixture was on. Really, really looking forward to it. And there's lots of other matches going on also. And I'll keep you up to date with those, with the latest scores. But if you want to, you're more than welcome. Available on there as well to watch, or free to watch. So let's enjoy it. Here we go, Carlo Biardo at the table. 40 years old, the Black Tiger. And at the moment, he's up against Sanjin Perlovanovic. That's another mouth-watering prospect. If you fancy watching that one, head on over to the YouTube. So he's going to have to play with some right hand spin here off the top rail. That's okay. Huge pool fans. All watching two of your idols. Eight years younger than Carlo, just 32 years old. Now, Hannah James, you will remember, won the World Cup of Paul last year, memorable final. Nicely judged. Now can he does like to stroke the ball around. Doesn't hold back, does he? Doesn't shy away from the big shots. He's a man for the winner. Beautiful stroke. Finishing absolutely perfect on this 10 ball. So the mistake. It's going to cost him. Good solid break. Controlled the cue ball. A lot of the other players look up to him. This has gone wrong, needs a favourable kiss. Well, he's okay. Waves his hand. Yeah, didn't want to touch that six ball. Pick down slightly here, uh, maybe not. You can just play with some right hand spin. And he's going to have to come round. Carlo always a joy to watch. Knows exactly where that cue ball's going. Just like that. Draw with right hand spin. Became a huge fan of Brilliant. He's kicking even better. Doesn't hang around, sees the shot, gets down and plays it. So he's going to draw off this back rail, and back out for the eight into the bottom left. Beautifully done again. Perfect. Stop the cue ball dead for the simplest of tens to level the match at 1 1. Oh, I need to 
push out here. Now, is he pushing to a jump shot? Yeah, he is. Well, a long way off of that one. So, what? Mario Heat has taken the third rack. He trails Bernie regularly 2 1. Sanjin Pedovanovic and Eloisa Schimp are also Republic. Dimitri Bukartos from Greece has taken the first rack. Twice across. Needs to get this right. Six. No dramas. We cover the situation. Let's tumble then. then. For a two one, one lead, and in it goes. Now, I'm going to see if I can get Torsten Holman over here to do it. Yeah, yeah. surprised to see them play so early in the tournament. Decent break. Control the cue ball ish. So, I wonder, because you do a lot of commentary, where do you think there's more skill involved in a nine mile break break level? It's a good, good question, question because, because the tempo break is notorious for guess. So, um, as, as I recall, I just came here also um, was a better playing on the table. He was. was. Were you, were you commenting, commenting on it? I was. And how many break breaks on CC? To me, he was on a different level at the moment. I got a lot of judges as well. Of course, that's the same way he is because he's not as much as he was. Cocaine Ping Chung is still in this tournament. Different engine champion. Still, still very, very, very hot. You know, you know beating, beating against these monsters is just uh, not, not as relaxing anymore. anymore. And uh, uh, my, my stroke, you, you know, <laughs> it's, not, it's not as clean and, and it shows. The place was sold out. I expect this year will be the same. And uh, it's just very special. You know, my, my, my mom comes and watches me, <coughs> all my friends, and uh, I get to see and hang out with my, my, my best friends as well. All right. So I'd Losing the World Cup of Fo Pool Final with Ralph Sokay against Bustamani and Reyes was one of the best experiences of my life, e even though we lost. And uh, it's just, they're just so enthusiastic, you know, the Filipinos, and they have the talent. So it'd be nice to have a tournament. That and everywhere you go, you hear the click of balls and all the open air pool rooms. It really is fantastic. And I think that's a huge thing of why there's so many youngsters get into the sport at an early age, because it's, it's kind of right in there if you miss the shot clock. I think that's what got Fedor in the last one a little bit. His opponent wasn't the quickest we've ever seen. Aria was very, very slow. And, oh, what a shot he's played there. Beautiful Charlie East. And uh, it's quite expensive to travel here. And uh, plus he got sick, he told me just uh, today. So hopefully he can, can be back next year. My Come man boobs. Your man boobs, yes. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, I'll leave it to you. You know, when Charlie did the straight pool tournament, and then the, the, Gink, the Ginky Memorial, and all these tournaments. It's a beautiful out by Carlo, 4-1, Mark. Yeah, I would love to. I, I really, really want Get to start coming to some of, the, some of the other events. I'm definitely going to go to Hanoi because it's on my doorstep. Yeah. As you know, I live in Thailand now, so it's very, very close for me. Um, the week before the European Open, and that's one of the few chances I actually get to go home. Come on, a few Deutsch marks. Yeah, you know, there's taxes and expenses, but yeah, I'd rather have too many events than too few. I suppose we better 
talk about back when I was here. Reminded me of one of the cute little clubs we have in all over Germany. Just like Fulda when I started, it was very similar. And uh, now they've grown into into this facility. Next door in there. But there's another location in Hululmala, just the uh, the island where you land when you yeah. arrive. Um, they have another facility with six tables, and they are over two, I would say over 3,000. Right, there's over 300 lockers here, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah, I was anticipating this rack to take a little longer with where the also the tuba was located, and then, okay, the three Arabia. And uh, the break used to be a very powerful skill, you know, where you had some sort of control, and now it seems like you're just kind of hidden hope. Yeah. You know, whatever the table. I enjoy winner break as a player and as a spectator. It doesn't mean that, you know, that would be what the organizer should go for. I think it's um, definitely very challenging and it's growing. They're investing a lot of money to make the game more popular worldwide. Chance here for Carlo. And I always thought it was a good shot. Now where does the cue ball, does he have to bridge over the seven? That would be the only, I think it's it's like a blessing and a curse at the same time what we have in pool is that we have so many different disciplines that are all equally fascinating oh i see okay straight pool one pocket uh, your rotation and so on it's it's, it's fantastic don't forget bank pool <coughs> bank pool yeah don't forget that one so i don't know i wish uh you, so what you're saying is like you wish the whole world would play nine ball nothing else is what you're saying no 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 I said it's a blessing and a curse I don't know the answer you know if you muted me <laughs> I muted myself as well this will be 5-1 Torsten just getting the upper hand in the safety battles at the moment, isn't he? Maybe a little bit more experience. So the, the question to me, uh, to you, and now is, is possible. So let's see if we can try and concentrate on this rack just for a change. I know it won't happen, but we'll do our best to try. Oh, three balls down. One five down. Yeah, he hasn't been winning the safety exchanges so far, so maybe he's thinking, I need to go aggressive. Beautiful shot. Now, can he squeeze behind the nine? That's just what it is. Coping trying. He's coping well because he's 5-2 up at the moment on, Kobe, on uh, Jeffrey Ignatio, I should say. Defending champion, looking to. Yep, and they have a, a wonderful trophy. If it's anything like last year, it's like one of the probably the most beautiful trophy I've ever seen. This is beautiful. The tall white one, made out of I guess limestone yep. or something like that. It looks like. I went on a lovely visit, a little tour around. We went on the back of motorbikes, little city, isn't it? The only um, disadvantage if you win the tournament is. If you win the tournament and they give you the trophy, you have to pay your prize money. You can buy some duty free with that to take back home to the family and fall back. Four balls at least twice on the break. And he's playing well tonight as well. He's 5-3 up on Aloysius Yap. That could might as well be a final. Could very easily be, couldn't it? Well, Loisius was in. I remember that very, very well. I was watching that in Florida. I was around Drew Cleary's house. Andrew Cleary, you know Andrew? Mm -hmm. I was around his house playing some nine ball with him. When he's More to, to put in the time. Do you find when you do coaching, a, a lot of coaching, do you find that that 
takes away from your own game, not just because of the advice, knowing what you know now, having gone through every single, you know, all the different aspects of the game and the different disciplines and the practice routines, the heartache, the enjoyment, the highs, the lows. What would you tell your A player when I was 14, 15, 16 years old? But I never had the right temperament. I was always too annoyed at myself and and always never relaxed and didn't know anything. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, I was, I've just seen it on YouTube. Somebody said to go and look at it. Well, just yesterday I was uh, announced as, t as Thorsten Hoffmann. <laughs> I have still I haven't found it. I don't know how he plays with that finger waggling like that. <laughs> but it doesn't stop him, does it? He's reigning world 10 ball champion also now what happened to that game someone should resurrect it and i actually found the originator and owner of the game and uh, i purchased the rights from him formed a company and uh i know it is in english yeah i know the audience can see it but I'll give you a little i don't have the connection here This may be a little bit of a shock. Albert Wanata from Indonesia has taken a 4-2 lead over Alex Kazakis from Greece. Alex, of course, just became a father. Hijikata. Hijikata, that's right. Good player from Japan, right? It was right down here last night. So, Johan keeps it close. The national driver license. I had a little go on it just up and down the street here, but it's closed off, so it's it's a little bit private. Oh. Now, once again, dropping light fly. So I should be happy with the table. Go into balls if you don't have to. And you never know what's going to happen, do you? Oh, delicate little drill. He's caught it too thick, trying to gain that little bit and to play it into the same pocket as the two. Let's see. Yeah, just caught it wrong. I think you're right. It was trying to, wasn't it? So Carlo will be breaking in the next one. Almost certain to be 7-4 up, just three now as well. So that risk. Mark, I'll have to leave you. I... Uh Shot from Johan Chua on the one ball. Just overhit it slightly. He's drawing. So looking to play the five into the bottom left hand corner as we look. Oh, he's played it into the side. Delicately. From the Philippines. Seven four up on the panda. Mario He. Back to this one. Johan Chua nicely on this nine ball. Looking. A 
Delario takes another one to lead eight five over the Panda. 10-2 against Jeffrey Ignacio from the Philippines. Loisha Shat now 7-5 up over Sanjin Pelevanovic. Trailing by two at 7-5. So it's just going to be a, a tappy little shot here. Try and get in behind the two, and he's made it. All the way across to that three. left look I mean nine on the clock face watch the cue ball zip over he's played an absolutely corking shot here yeah for the four into the same pocket a little bit of body here once again lovely cue ball eight in the, to the top right now can he just draw some in post nicely done Sanjin pair of animeth balls are set on the Simonis cloth, we're all ready for the Black Tiger to break them. Pretty central. Three balls down. Clock on the clock face. Just drag this one ball in. A little bit strong. some kind of angle on this he's a this is a tricky little shot here can catch these too thick he's trying to hold the cue ball as well this is a really touchy little shot oh, I played it beautifully and he is on the hill Biardo 9-5 scheduled for 8 p.m. It could be a little bit later. Well, I think he's just swerving around the six slightly, just a little masse. Great shot. Now 8-7, he trails Bernie Regolario. And a nice safety to follow it up with as well. If you were with us earlier, you would have seen Fedor Gorst going through. 10-8 against Arya Falahati. Now I think he's settled for brushing off the five. Coming down towards the four. He was a little bit worried about where the five was going to end up, but he needs to worry no more. Big shot this for Chua. Plays it that broke like a monster yesterday. Yeah, got the Q 
you through nicely there, Johan Chua. Yeah, nicely done. Saves one match point. 9-6 now. Carlo Biardo, though, in use. Biardo breaking off. Made a ball once again. Now then. Try to get in over behind the nine ball. Under hit it slightly now. Yeah, safety shot. It is. Touchy shot. Oh, he's played a beauty. in his 8-8 eight, eight now with Bernie Regalario and it's Mario at the table here's Ko Fortunski also on the hill 9-8 against Alexi Pachel all those matches will be coming up a little bit later on guys we're still not sure who is going to be on the TV table here, but all matches, of course, are available on the Maldives Paul Billiard Association YouTube channel. Good shot there from Chua to get on the eight. Looks like it's going to be 9-7. Be Demetrius Lokartis. He's on the hill against Shevchik. 9-4 up this 10 ball to save another match point in it goes it's 9-7 going all out here cue ball between the eight and the four a very sad looking Lois just let yeah he's just walked past having been beaten great shot there to get on this pink the five ball in People naturally coming towards the target. Oh, that's even better. Play to perfection. Great shot. Johan Chua. 7-6 against... Albert Bonata from Indonesia and we are 9-8 here back to this one Biardo looking to do exactly the same oh, look at this for a break now then he doesn't want any balls tied up It's all about this shot now. Guaranteed to lose two Filipinos in this round. Bernie has gone. And of course one of these two has to go also. And he's played a beautiful shot there. An eight to the nine. Under 
underdrew slightly, but he's all right. Good fight, Johan Chua. So round three rails here. Two balls away from the last 16. Play Bader Alawahadi from Johan Chua, but he was beaten on the night by the better player. Johan Chua is out, but Carlo Biardo marches on. <laughs>